loves, today I have a video for you that is very, very, very different for me, but I'm so excited to bring it to you. We are well in spring. Well, okay, it's like April. There are no excuses, but Kansas has not gotten the memo. It's still freezing freezing. But I thought I would bring the spring to me and maybe a little bit to you with a spring inspiration video. So what I'm going to be doing in this video is just getting ready for my typical spring day with you. I'm going to be showing you my makeup, my nails, my outfit, and my favorite part about this video is the fact that it is a collab with two absolutely beautiful ladies here on YouTube and you guys probably know both of them already. The first one is Nikki from Nikki Philippi. I've been watching Nikki forever, like before I ever started making YouTube videos. Videos. And so we actually started talking a few months ago and decided we wanted to collab on something. Since we both have very different styles and like clothing and makeup, we thought it would be cool to do this kind of like spring inspiration video to show you how we get ready for spring. And then I met through Nikki, the gorgeous Nabella, and she actually has a YouTube handle, just youtube.com slash Nabella, which I'm so jealous of. Somebody give me youtube.com slash Loey. But she is absolutely gorgeous. She's one of those people who just puts so much work into what she does and you can tell her heart and her soul is in it. She's a beautiful girl. I love her videos. So the three of us decided to do this collab together and I'm so excited because again we have very different personalities, different hair and skin and all of that and so I thought it would be really cool for you guys to see how all three of us get ready for spring. This will leave you feeling a little bit inspired so after this video make sure to go and check them out or if you're coming to me from them. Hi, I hope you stay a while. And for now, we're going to get into my spring inspiration. Starting off with clean and moisturized skin, I'm going to prep my lips for lip products later with a little bit of chapstick and then prime my face using the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. This is a really moisturizing primer that also helps to increase the longevity of your makeup, so I definitely never skip this step. Then I'm going in with my makeup using a dewy finish makeup from Maybelline and I absolutely love the Fit Me Dewy Plus Fresh. I'm dotting that on the face and then blending it in with this Tarte brush. It leaves a super flawless finish, but afterwards I'm just going to quickly go over my face using my fingertips, and again, they are clean, they are sanitized, make sure of that when you're doing makeup, just to ensure I have no brush strokes. Then I'm going to use my favorite heavy duty concealer and just conceal any acne spots or redness I currently have. Then under the eyes, I am concealing and highlighting in one quick step using first a brightening concealer. Well, I guess it really is two steps because then I go over it with a very light skin tone shade. It's about two shades lighter than my current complexion. After blending that in with my beauty blender, I will take this pinkish side of this contour kit from Wet n Wild, and I love this to set my under eye concealer because it's very brightening and it just helps everything stay in place. For the other areas on my face where I put down a bit of concealer, I'm taking a more skin tone face powder. This one doesn't exactly match my skin tone, it's still a touch lighter so I still get that nice highlighted look. But it adds a bit of additional coverage and though my skin is not primarily oily, it will help it last longer throughout the day. Then I'm going to take the same Wet n Wild palette that I used to highlight under the eyes and I'm going to use that for my contour shade. Just putting that under the cheekbones then blending it onto the temples. I'm really, really taking my time blending this out. Blending is key with contour and I never skip it. Then I'm going to take a slightly warmer tone bronzer. This one is from NYC and it is in Sunny. I really like this and I'm just going to take it over the contoured areas for a tiny bit of extra warmth. I don't want to use too much of this, but it does make a difference. I'm also going to take a bit of that under my jaw.
Then using a kabuki brush and the face powder I use in the center of my face, I'm going to dot a bit of that under that contour just to make it a little bit sharper. Now I'm going to take my blush, which is Milani's Luminoso, and put that all over my cheeks. I love this blush. It's super springy and just makes you look alive and glowing and it is pretty much everything. Then I will use Max Mineralized Skin Finish in Light Scapade just to highlight the high points of my face. So I'm putting that on the tops of the cheeks and down the bridge of the nose just where I want a little bit of additional glow. Now it is time for brows. I'm filling mine in using a matte eyeshadow from NYX and this just kind of goes to show you, you can pretty much use whatever you want in makeup. Um, I like a lot of matte light brown eyeshadows for my brows and I find that they're easier to find and usually less expensive than brow powders. So that's just what I'm putting in my brows, a little life hack there for you guys. Then I don't know why I did this, but I primed my lids using this primer potion from Lorac before setting my brows with gel. I don't know why, I just did. Then I'm going to set my whole face using Urban Decay's All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray before getting into eyeshadow. I'm using the Long Home My French Palette. I love this palette. It is very dupable. There are probably better and cheaper versions of it at the drugstore, but this is what I have. I'm using this peach color in my crease for a warm transition shade. Then using this matte brown that's a little bit deeper than the peach, I'm just lightly carving out the outer V of my eyes. And I'm placing that color down, just being really careful of where it's going before I blend. And blending again is key. It will make it look a lot more seamless and effortless and not so like harsh, you know what I mean? So I'm blending like crazy and then I'm going to jump in to this really beautiful champagne color. Like look at this. It's absolutely beautiful. So I'm packing that onto the inner two thirds of my lid. Then to finish off on the upper lid, I am taking this dark brown color and I'm just packing that into the outer third. I'm obviously blending like crazy, then we're gonna work on the lower lash line. First, I'm taking this white jumbo eyeliner and I'm going to put that under the eyes as my base. This will really help the bright colors I'm going to use to pop and stand out more so than they would without it. I'm going to take this really gorgeous teal color from the same palette and I'm going to work this on my lower lash line, first starting in like the outer um, like two thirds of my eye and then working into the inner corner, but I'm really leaving the outer corner and the inner corner completely blank. This is gonna be kind of an ombre transition look, so I'm being really careful about where this shade is going, but working it up to get a gorgeous intensity with this. This is just such a cool color and it has a beautiful duochrome and shimmer to it. I absolutely freaking love it. Then I'm going to take this darker teal color and put this on the outer corner of my eyes. Then using a blending brush, we will lightly blend through everything. To finish the shadow on the lower lashes, I am taking the champagne color we used on the lid and I'm just using that to highlight my inner corners. Then using a nude eyeliner pencil, we're going to pop that right on the waterline and we're going to use black liquid liner on the upper lash line. Please feel free to use whatever you're comfortable with for this look. I really love liquid liner and I feel like it's really easy to use, especially for my preferences. But if you want to use gel, it's fine. We're just getting the lash line to look thicker and blacker, which will make the lashes in turn look thicker when we use mascara. Then I am curling those lashes, speak of the devils, and I'm going to pop on a ton of my favorite volumizing mascara. My camera sort of shut off and I didn't get to show you my lip combo. All I am wearing is this nude lip liner from Too Faced. And then over top, I put on Kimchi Doll from Gerard Cosmetics. And I have a coupon code for this down below for you guys. I love this lipstick. But my makeup is done and now it's time to move into nails. If you're anything like me, you are lazy, you cannot wait for polish to dry. I love these Impress Press On Nails. They make getting a manicure super easy. All I'm doing is cleaning off my nails using the alcohol pad that they provided. And I'm just going over all my nails to take off any excess oil. This step really helps the nails to last longer. So then I'm grabbing the nails themselves. They include a billion sizes. So I'm picking the one that fits my pinky best and then I am taking off the tape on the back of that nail and I am pressing it onto my pinky. I'm going to hold it for like a minute. So I'm just making sure to hold them as long as I can before I let them go and then I have gorgeous nails and I'm repeating that all over my hands until my mani is done and it took like 10 seconds. 
My nails and my makeup are done, so I'm going to finish off just using a bit of my favorite perfume, which is Daisy Dream from Marc Jacobs. And my spring look is never complete without a good outfit, so I'm wearing these layered necklaces as well as this set of rings, both from Forever 21. I love the silver on silver look. I'm wearing a kind of cream colored Henley from Hollister over a tank top, which is again from Hollister. On the bottom, I'm wearing a pair of jeans from Forever 21 Plus, and my shoes are from Misguided. So that's going to be it for me. I really hope you all enjoyed. Again, if you have not already, make sure to go check out Nikki and Nabella's channels. I will have both of their videos linked down below for you. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already, and give this video a thumbs up if you are excited for spring, which hopefully all of you are. I love you guys so, so very much. Be happy and beautiful and positive, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!